are here to show you the new Trimble R2 GNSS receiver, uh, which is this little device. The R2 GNSS receiver is our first crossover receiver, which is meant for both the GIS as well as the survey market and workflows. A crossover receiver means, number one, the receiver itself is very flexible. Uh, it will support accuracies from sub-meter all the way down to centimeter level accuracies. Now, the centimeter level accuracy is typically used in uh, server workflows. The sub-meter accuracy and the range underneath that uh, is very new in GIS workflows. And what you're seeing is more and more high accuracy workflows in GIS applications. For example, if you are talking server workflows, a lot of these are stakeouts where um, you actually use the receiver on a pole, you go, go out there and you mark locations with very high accuracies. Um, that is the perfect receiver for those types of applications. Uh, also, if you've got buried assets and you, you need to document uh, those locations with uh, centimeter to decimeter level accuracy, that's where this device would be used. Um, on the other side, on a GIS type application where you want to relocate those buried assets, you also need that accuracy. So if you go in with centimeter to decimeter level accuracies, uh, you're always within 30 centimeters within a subfoot range of the accuracies when you relocate those uh, assets. I mentioned it's a crossover receiver between GIS and survey. On the survey side, a lot of times uh, survey customers will set up their own infrastructure, they will set up a base station, and they will send correction signals from that base station using, for example, a UHF radio. Uh, in this case, a UHF receive radio in the 450 megahertz range is built into the receiver. It is able to receive those correction signals. So the, the receiver itself is a 220 channel uh, receiver. It supports multiple constellations, anything from GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, Beta, QZSS. Uh, it supports multiple correction type signals, anything from uh, L-band correction signals like SBAS, or, or correction signals like RTX that we provide over L-Band or over IP. And of course, for the surveyor, our correction signals over IP network connections like VRS and other NTRIP sources. Yes, you can take in real-time correction data, but you can also post-process in GIS workflow. So the device itself has uh, two ways to connect to either the, the data collector or the controller. One is by using a USB interface. Um, this is if you're going in a, in a wired connection, but most of the time you'd actually take advantage of a wireless Bluetooth connection. In this case, from the receiver, you just pair it with a host device. So in this case, what we've got on the pole is a survey controller, a TSC3, um, but you could also connect and pair this with a standard data collector, uh, like a Nomad device, or you could even uh, connect and pair this with a smartphone or tablet. So you're really flexible uh, when it comes to using it with different devices. The R2 GNSS receiver is a really flexible device. And with those Bluetooth connections, it will work with all sorts of devices, but also all sorts of different operating systems. Traditionally, that, that would have been like a Windows operating system, a Windows embedded handheld operating system. It also supports Android OS, it supports iOS. And then on these different operating systems, you would use different types of software. Um, in the Windows world, typically the software would talk to a virtual COM port and get NMEA uh, sentences, and, and uh, that's how it would determine location. Uh, in Android and in iOS, it's a little different. They both use something called location services. And then, obviously, we've got Trimble software that talks to the receiver directly. Um, besides Trimble software, like uh, Trimble Access in the survey world, uh, Terraflex in the GIS world, uh, it will all also work with third-party application software, like uh, in the ESRI world, uh, ArcPad, uh, those types of uh, third-party applications are also supported. If you want to use, for example, uh, uh, the, the smartphone as a data collector, a mobile data collector, you can download uh, in the uh, iOS Apple Store, uh, you can download the Terraflex mobile software suite that is free, you download it for free. Uh, there's also demo accounts that you can use uh, for 30 days and uh, experiment with the abilities of Terraflex. Uh, and, and that's how you would connect to a professional data collection software. It is the same Terraflex on a mobile device, a uh, third-party device, as it is uh, on our devices. Um, so the, the workflow, everything uh, is familiar. Um, on these devices, it, it is cloud-based, uh, but you can also work in an offline mode.